welcome to Antigua. Mm -hmm. Just arrived. And look at what's just in the background. Whoa. We have just arrived at our accommodation in Antigua and it's so cute. Like it, I feel like we just need somebody's house. Like literally, you walk straight into this lounge. There's just the kitchen, our little bedroom. And then we're apparently there's a terrace, so we're gonna go up and check that out now. But look at this, we can just chill on sofas. I haven't sat on a sofa in so long. <laughs> Oh, this is just the top. Look, you can see our apartment. That's the lounge. <laughs> and that is the volcano. I think we'll be all right here, do you? Oh, this is a bit of us, isn't it? Have you got the torch on? Just did it automatically. <laughs> there you go. How are you feeling, Claire? I'm unwell. First day in, uh, I don't know, Antigua. Got here yesterday. I'm woken up today. Uh, well, I woke up in the night. I woke up in the night. Yeah, true. Prayer's just not been well. We think it's the travel belly thing you can get yeah. from being in new places, trying new water and all that stuff. So to We've not been drinking the water or anything, but obviously, like, you probably do swallow it, like, a little bit accidentally. Chill one tonight and then we might venture out tomorrow. Fingers crossed, so I feel better in the morning. See how you feel. I'm back. <laughs> She's alive. <laughs> I feel better today. Still a bit there, but better. But yeah, but yeah. Well, today we thought to keep it easy, we'll hike up. Or climb a hill. <laughs> to the uh, what was it Sarah Della Cruz, which is like a, just a twenty-minute, half an hour hike. But when we've got here, it's like a viewpoint, but it's under construction. So that's it there. Right, where is it? Hang on. Uh, uh. That's it there. It's like a cross on the mount, uh, on the hill that looks over the town and uh, the volcano. And behind volcano it. in the back. But now we're gonna yeah, head back down to town. Have a little cruise and get some, get some scrand. Claire hasn't eaten in like 24 30, hours. No, 36 30. hours maybe. Yeah. And I threw up most of that, so. Let's go eat. Just there. Yeah, it's a little bucket. Look how cute it is. Now we're off to go try and find the, there's like a famous arc, I've got the name of it now. It goes right over one of the central streets, so go check it out. Few days ago, me and Claire thought it'd be a good idea to climb up a active volcano. Fuego is the active one, but Fuego's on this, this active daily. Yeah, but we're climbing the one next to it, it's which is bigger, one. which is called. This has got a harder name. 
As, uh, I can't remember, Asintego. Asintego or something like that. But basically what you do is you start up early in the morning, you climb up that one, camp at it overnight, you hike all the way back down again. What the scary thing is, is it takes all day to hike up here. So on day one, you only actually walk about five miles. We're hiking up, it goes through about three or four different levels of types of terrain. So we're going that high, we'll go through different climates. And then, yeah, we camp overnight, but we're in lodges apparently. I'm nervous because like, I'm not very good at walking uphill. When I walk in, it's not uphill. So volcano's probably not the best And it's like it. five, day one is five miles of literal, like the elevation's like 13,000 and something foot. I didn't look at us now, it's going to be a, a tough ass hike for like five hours. The, the, the guy about. described it as extremely difficult and <laughs> physically demanding. You are so ready for this, aren't you? <laughs> Morning. So, all packed, it's about half six in the morning, on our way to the Ox Expedition office to meet up to properly pack. How are you feeling, Claire? I'm terrified. I'm really, really scared. Not about the volcano or anything like that, just about the walking up here. Just the main bit of it then, yeah? yeah. I'm excited. Can't wait. Literally, maybe like uh, 0.2 miles in. <laughs> Views are insane there already. Oh, yeah, it's so good. It's so sweet and so hot. Hey, we got this. Ooh. Nothing looks steep on here. We're in the clouds. Yeah, all that white behind us is clouds. We've got a break point coming up, so hopefully we'll be able to show you something. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Altitude is hitting now hard, isn't it? Like, struggling to like breathe, and like, I'm starting to get a bit of a headache now. Up until now, I've been all right, and but since we stopped for lunch just about half hour ago, I've been uh, begging for the brakes a bit more. But all in all, all right. It's but... weird though, because when you stop walking, you get your breath back quite quick, because your body can get enough oxygen. As soon as you stop walking and you need more oxygen, it just feels like there isn't enough of it. It's really weird. Yeah, it's like instant. But yeah, if you can see, we're literally just nothing but clouds. It's so cool. Where we are is really cool. But hopefully, we should be about an hour away from base camp now. I hope so. Which is where we'll be stopping for the day. Camping. That'll be it for today. And that's where we sit and we will try when it goes dark to hopefully the sister volcano will give us a little show. And it'll all be worth it. We made it to the top. And where is it? Oh, I've lost it. The, on, other, the volcano that's erupting there, there. There it is. The clouds are in front of it, but this volcano is the one that erupts. So, so far, we've seen a little black smoke cloud Twice. come out of the clouds. <laughs> I'm 
just in our little cabin that we have for the night which is really cute and it's got like windows so we can see the volcano look there it is erupting that walk was really tough it was so bizarre because we obviously had our heavy backpacks on and actually i didn't even notice the backpack like really maybe like once i was like Ooh. um my shoes my feet feel fine and my legs feel fine i'm sure i'll wake up tomorrow sore but they the whole hike like no cramps nothing like that but just the hills and the breathing was really tough but we made it i made it ben was very good he um stayed with me um and we're gonna wait till it gets dark because when it's dark we'll be able to see all the oh it's just gone off again we'll be able to see all the like lava coming out like all the orange lava which will be really cool <sighs> relief <laughs> yeah what did you just say this is sick ben's just looking like this is I mean, to be it. fair, it is, it is sick. We've literally got like a sunset, active volcano, and there's lightning going on over well, there. What you've actually got is go back, you've got yeah, over here, over here, Where here we're? again. There's thunder over there, sunset over there, active volcano over there, and another thunderstorm <laughs> over there. And we're making hot chocolate. <laughs> In one <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> campers so it is well actually it's about half past seven now but we got we woke up at 3 30 went back to bed and then watched the sunrise from our sleeping bags which was really nice so the volcano was going off all night like you kept waking up because it was like a rut 20 minutes yeah um and then so we've had breakfast with this gorgeous view and now we are just about to start the descent which Claire should smash, so there should be lots of footage from Claire. Yeah, I'm good at downhill. Claire has bent knees, give up on it. Okay. Just reached the bottom. Whew. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good actually. The way down was a lot easier. But oh yeah, the way down, way down was so much easier. Volcano, bleed it, mate. Morning. We are waiting for our bus to go to Lake Adelan. So we're heading to the lake for a few days. Yeah, I'm going to miss Antigua. I really liked it. Yeah, it's one of my favourite stops so far. Yeah, me too. Where have you booked us, eh, Claire? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is. Yeah. I'll tell Linda. We have arrived. We have. 
we are in uh, San Pedro, Lake Atalan, and we are just, look at this, this is literally just the town. Yeah, so here we are, we just arrived, dumped our bags, chilled for about an hour, and now we're having a beer, gonna get some food, see what tomorrow brings. Morning. Hi. So, yeah, we got into San Pedro yesterday. So this morning we are setting off to sort of uh, check out the town really. We'll see what yeah. see what San Pedro's got. So it is about half two. Yeah, half just two, gone. Sort of potting about the town of San Pedro. Pop a nice little town, it's isn't it? Like so it's, nice. It's, yes, it really doesn't cover that much area, but it's also built on top of each other. Uh, yeah, I, what I really like about it is that you don't always, you don't feel like, even though it is touristy, the locals and the tourism's really like blended. So you'll be walking down one street that's clearly like full of like shops and stuff, like quite touristy. And then within a second, you'll yeah. be like walking past down a street full of like locals' homes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like it really intermingles. Yeah. And there's so much street art. That's it, yeah, with the graffiti and stuff. There's so much like, and it's not all crap either. Like all of it is absolutely amazing. Yeah, really good. Like, yes. Yeah, so. There's that massive one down near the, um, down at the edge of the water that was like definitely meant something that looked like a like a, somebody blowing Poseidon. the volcano smoke but underwater yeah it was like Poseidon throwing a spear into some water but then there was a volcano there underwater blowing bubbles or something don't know what it meant but look cool it was really really cool yeah the the art is incredible so yeah. now we're just about to head back to our hostel just to chill which for a bit literally. which is literally behind yeah. us how amazing is this and we're gonna so we're gonna we're gonna chill here go up to a hostel just chill for a bit because i think the nightlife here we discovered last night is pretty good yeah. so i think we're gonna and um, we chill for a bit so we can go out a bit later today. yeah we peed a little early yesterday and i think we were knackered by nine o'clock yeah ben was asleep by nine yeah good got 10 hours sleep last night <laughs> yeah. can't complain um yeah so chill, chill back at the hostel for a bit and then head out later and probably go back to the same bar yesterday it was amazing yeah it was really cool um, who stole my spot? Stole my spot? Who stole my spot? Hello! Hi, So last day on the island and our main agenda for today, oh dog, our main agenda for today is to get Ben's hair cut. Ooh, Not by me, <laughs> by somebody with actual training. It's gotten too long now where Claire just, we'd, we'd cut it short on sides and then the top would just be like. Yeah and also much. I feel like you do need to keep getting it cut professionally so that when I have a go at it and kind of have a little hash at it, I at least follow the lines they've done whereas because i cut it last time those lines are very gone. much gone <laughs> we're having another chill day today this place is so relaxing it's the kind of place where you are meant to come 
and just enjoy. So we're gonna probably get some lunch, get a spend haircut, pack, get us all sorted, ready for a 5 a.m. bus tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Are you feeling handsome? I'm good. Itchy. You fully went for your beard, didn't you, as well? A lot of hair on me. <laughs> there was so much hair that came off. <laughs> what time is it then? It's quarter to five in the morning. And we are packed up, waiting for our bus to come and get us. Take us to El Salvador. El Salvador. I'm excited. Dropped off at this cafe at about 8 a.m. to swap buses. It's now 11 a.m. <laughs> I am so bored and so tired. Ten past twelve. Still in. I am actually a bit sick of this. Yeah, it's been about four hours now. With no news. But uh, I've just been down to the office for a second time. They're calling people to find out hopefully what's going on. They think they might have been stuck on the board or something, but no one seems to know. So I'm getting it in about five minutes now. Players buzzing. It's now ten past one, and every 20 minutes, when we speak to them, they tell us it's going to be another 20 minutes. Still in Guamaha, 